Hey, Cindy, it's such a beautiful morning out here. I got to tell you, just slight changes today compared to yesterday. I, I see it a little bit warmer temperature wise, a little bit less wind, but overall, very similar. Tons of sun to go around. I think it's a day you'll enjoy being outside. Show you what we've got on the board. Mobile Weather Lab set up numbers mid 60s here in Port Washington. Winds are light and it's feeling good. I'll show you other numbers across the region too. And a lot of you waking up to 60s, especially in and around to this part of town where it's comfortable with low humidity and numbers basically where you'd expect them to be this time of the year. Harrison 61, Jackson Heights waking up to mid 60s. Tiraboro, low 60s, widen out the map to show you. Clear skies, light winds have allowed numbers to drop even more in parts of the area, especially Jersey up to the Hudson Valley. A light long sleeve, not a bad way to go as you start the day, but we are in for a July classic. Look for temps climbing back in the 80s today. This is what you'd expect this time of the year. Air is mostly dry, uh, but can't rule out we manufacture a few clouds in the afternoon. It is rain free and the humidity nowhere to be found. It's not gone for long though. That humidity climbing the rest of the week, uh, becoming more noticeable, especially by the fourth Friday into the weekend. We get back to that midsummer feel. So it is going to trend a little bit more differently, not the quite refreshing feel we've got this morning. John, as folks wake up and maybe are getting ready to catch the LIRR into the city here from Port Washington. Good looking stuff. And I know the weather watchers must be loving it too. Oh, they are totally loving it. These nice, cool numbers. The only thing they're lamenting is we could use a little bit of rain. So we've got these real, I mean, Ed's got 54. We've got Bob at 54. Very chilly in parts of the Hudson Valley. I mean, chilly. And then these nice numbers for the Jersey Shore. And just so you know, our weather watchers are committed to CBS, too, because Ron is very concerned about Mary. Mary, you must be tired doing morning and evening news. So Ron's watching everything we do. So he was he wanted to Hi, Ron. Say, he's saying that hi. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got some uh, celebrating the history. Uh, Buddy Holly first record. It's made in the USA Day. Appreciate that from Les. Always July 2nd, made in the USA. And then this is a zucchini. Look at that beautiful zucchini flower. We could use a little bit more rain. In fact, more of the area dealing with the significant deficit. Appreciate these pictures, though, from Vince. Steady old Vince sending in these uh, uh, amazing images live to us, like this from Battery Park City. So from Battery Park City to Jersey City to New York City to more of New Jersey, dealing with, you know, abnormally dry conditions, running a deficit, for the month of June, obviously, and starting July dry, too. Chance of rain coming in. But when we see that rain chance return Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it's going to be the hit and miss variety. So remember, it's thunderstorm. That's not the best way to make up a deficit. Want to make sure you're safe and ready. That UV index, 9, burn time, 10 minutes. This is great news. The air quality is good. Um, pollen is still up there. And it's a different kind of pollen, so make sure you're ready for it. And the uh, pups, it's been a bad tick season. Make sure that they are uh, tick-free when you bring them in. Want to talk real quickly about this monster barrel. And again, talk about a well-defined eye and a potent storm. Category 5, earliest ever. This is a September storm, not a July storm. 165 mile an hour winds west northwest at 22. So again, there will be some weakening, but it's still potent a four and then a two. And then you're going to see uh, between Haiti, uh, uh, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica. In fact, Jamaica, this is where we already have advisories. They're going to be dealing with the outer bands and then some storm surge, but a hurricane warning for uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands as well. So we'll be watching that just the beginning of the season as we set our sights into our backyard. Delightful today, delightful tomorrow. And then we see that pop-up storm Thursday, a slightly better chance Friday into Saturday. So as you make your plans for the holiday, just remember, you have to be mindful of the risk of lightning, brief, and the risk of a little bit of heavy rain. Hopefully the big show will still go on rain-free more of a chance you won't see rain than you will, even though we do need it. Uh, How are you doing? Are you okay? Should I get you some coffee? <laughs> Thank These you. These weather watches, they worry about you. I really appreciate you. it. Aww. We have coffee, so okay, we're good. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, though.